Uh, so in regards to uh, revenue and competition chipping away at our sales, uh, we've actually seen very little competition in a way because uh, other partners are selling a different solution. So for us, we, we go in, we actually go in and ask customers what their problems are. Uh, typically, you know, they start off with uh, wanting to move to Office 365 and then we grow the opportunity from there by, by asking them questions about what they're doing in their business. The whole concept of selling solutions, empowering the, the customer to do more was actually the big transition. Uh, the traditional VARs are still scrambling because even their cloud offerings are really not cloud offerings. Uh, the ones that have made a little bit of adjustment are just forklifting their solution up to the cloud. So a lot of what we're focused on as an organization uh, is growth of our employees. So we make sure that all of our teammates have time, two or four hours a week, to explore technologies that they have a passion in. Uh, we look at Twitter, we look at all the different social feeds, we look at our competitors and our other partners in the ecosystem and see what's going on as well as what we're getting from Microsoft. And from there, we kind of figure out hey, this makes sense for us. This is something that can help our customers. But we always try and take some time each week to learn the new technology or try it out. Uh, even internally, we're doing things, building our entire business and all the functionality on Microsoft Azure and O365. So we're always looking at what Microsoft offers for us to help our internal business and then going for our external customers. The technology changes all the time. 10 years ago, the cloud really wasn't an option. Now the cloud is the de facto. If you're starting a new business, it is the cloud. Uh, looking at the different service offerings that are out there is almost a requirement for you to stay in business and stay tangible uh, and relevant. If you don't change, technology's proven that it'll just push you aside and it'll find the next person that's embraced that change. So the SMB group is really a great vehicle, one-stop shopping to help an SMB partner grow and enhance their business and get to the right resources. Microsoft's products have changed so much in the last couple of years. The, the rapid growth of the evolution of all their products now, uh, where traditionally we would wait for a, a new version or a new service pack or a cumulative update. Now it's once a week we're seeing a new update from Power BI or Teams or something like that. Whether it's through email campaigns, whether it's the website, uh, there's a lot of different channels for us to look at and say, what can we go after? What's coming out from Microsoft? Uh, there's really, there's really no excuse for you to say, I had no idea. I mean, there's, there's a lot of marketing that goes on for Microsoft to help the, the partners.